Good morning everybody, it's Fast Tip Friday, I'm JB the Ranch Mechanic. Today we're going to be talking about brakes and some do's and don'ts on how to lubricate your caliper slide pins and your hardware. Let me turn the camera around and we'll show you what's going on here. Alright guys, so what we're looking at today, if you'll let me zoom out for a second, there we go. We are looking at our 2007 Ford Explorer. This happens to be the very same one that we just replaced that cam position sensor on back in December. You can see that video uh, up here somewhere, I'll throw a card up there for you. And what we're talking about today is how to service your brakes properly. It's not going to be a full brake service. Um, it's just going to be talking about two very important points. Lubricating your caliper slide pins and quieting everything down by properly lubricating your hardware. Now, this vehicle does not get driven very much. And based on what I'm seeing here, it has needed brakes for a very long time. Now, I've never done a brake service on this vehicle in the nearly four years that I've been here. And I don't think anyone else has either, just because this vehicle hardly ever gets driven. But based on what I'm seeing here, like I said a second ago, this thing really needed it, especially in the front. This rotor is completely worn out. There's a huge groove worn down in it, and the pads are just, there's nothing left. Very, very little material. But the bigger issue that I'm seeing here is if you look at this, if the camera will focus on it, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see or not, but by my thumb here, it's almost worn down to the backing plate, yet over on the right-hand side here, you can see we got about a 16th inch of pad material left. Well, what the heck? What's going on there? Why is that? Why is it wearing at an angle? Well, that happens when your caliper slide pins get stuck. One of them will get stuck um, because they're not properly lubricated. Water gets inside these channels where the, the slide pins go and causes them to seize up. But let me back up a little bit. What is a caliper slide pin? What the heck am I talking about? Well, these guys here are caliper slide pins. These float inside the caliper bracket and actually allow the entire caliper to float inside this housing which allows for a little bit of flex during normal driving and also allows the caliper, when you let off the brakes, the brake pads never actually retract completely off of the rotor. They kind of drag a little bit, which is normal. They're, they're wear items, that's what they're designed to do. There's nothing that actually pulls the, pulls the pads off of the rotor. It's just a matter of how much pressure is being applied. So these slide pins are crucial in allowing the caliper to properly float and flex with daily driving. That way you're you know, pads don't get hung up and, and start gouging into the rotor, which is exactly what happened over on the driver's side, which I'll show you here in a minute. But it's very important. Anytime you do a brake service, I mean, it, it's super easy to go in here and throw a new set of pads inside your caliper and throw a new rotor on and call it done. But you're not done if that's all you do. You need to pull out your slide pins. You need to take off the little boots that seal them. Clean off all the old nasty grease, if there even is any. I've already done these. Um, re-lubricate them and put everything back together and make sure everything is good and lubricated. The driver's side of this vehicle had probably never been checked. And the passenger side here is what we're looking at now. Not that great either. As you can see, this pin looks fine. I've got all the old grease off of it. It's still shiny. It's still clean. There's no corrosion. That was for the top of the, of the caliper. The bottom side, you'll see here, that's not grease, that is rust. That's the beginning of corrosion. And what happens is these things sit you know, horizontally inside that housing, especially on vehicles that sit for a long period of time. Water will build up inside the, the uh, caliper bracket. It'll leak past these boots sometimes. And when you have that happen, you'll get exactly what we're looking at here. Corrosion on one side of the pin, or in the worst case, which is what happened over on the driver's side, the entire pin seizes inside the bore of the uh, caliper bracket, and you're in trouble. Because if these can't float, that means that your caliper cannot move and it will hang up one or both sides of the caliper and cause those pads to either dig into the rotor and stay there and cause massive damage or one side will stick while the other side floats. So basically, your brake pad, say this, say this uh, wheel bearing that I just put in is the actual brake pad, what, what happens if one of your slide pins is sticking, only one side of that pad is making contact with the rotor when you push the brakes and it wears that pad down at an angle which is exactly what we have here so that means that even though i was able to pull this out it was very close to being seized there was very little movement in this pin so when you're going to do a brake service make sure that you pull these out take the little accordion boots off if they're removable most applications are these just fit right down on the bore you can put them back in clean these out clean the bores out. I have them soaking in brake cleaner right now because there was a bunch of dried grease in there I'm trying to get out. Wipe these things off and re-lubricate them. 
if they're really bad and they're really pitted, I think I can save this one, but if they're really bad and really pitted, you can buy new ones. They do sell these separately. But if you'd come over to the driver's side with me, this is an example of worst case scenario. This is the inside of the driver's side rotor. It is completely destroyed. Huge lip there, tons of gouge marks, and that was caused by this guy. That is just the backing plate for the inner pad. There's nothing left of it. That was metal on metal. Then you look at the caliper bracket here. I got this pin out and it's not in very good shape, lots of rust. But this guy, totally seized in there. I can't, I put this thing in a vise, I beat on it with a hammer and you can't torch it because then you'll destroy your accordion boot and then at that point you might as well just buy new stuff but this is so seized and stuck in there that it's no there's no save in that one so i went to order a new caliper bracket and that's two weeks out um, no one can get it but they could get an entire caliper with a caliper bracket and hardware so this was 53 dollars at napa a whole new caliper was only 73 so i'm just gonna do that and uh that's a much easier solution for me it is what it is but it's a very important part of doing any brake service let me jump back over to the passenger side here and we'll continue. All right, so another thing I wanted to touch on real quick is the hardware on your caliper brackets. I've seen a lot of misinformation for some reason about what you're supposed to do um, when installing new hardware. Now, it's not a mandatory step, but a lot of people recommend that you put some lubrication on the back of your new hardware clips to quiet them down. Personally, I'm a big fan of that. I think that's a great idea. Um, but I have seen a lot of people that think you need to lubricate everything by putting grease or silicone or sil glide or whatever you're using on the surface here where the pads ride. That is not correct. All right, these, these clips are replaceable. So you should take these off and if you get a halfway decent set of brake pads, your new pads will come with hardware. You just pull these off and replace it with the new stuff. The only thing you're gonna get if you put a bunch of, of lubrication here where the pads go is they're gonna cake up with dust and dirt and gunk and road debris, brake dust, whatever, and it's actually going to inhibit your pads from moving cleanly. And then you could end up with the same problem that you have if you don't lubricate your slide pins, you could cause one of the pads to actually hang up. Most of these new clips are made out of either stainless steel or some kind of material with a lubricating coating built into it. So you don't need to put any lubrication on here. The grease goes behind here where the clip actually attaches to the caliper bracket. And what the purpose of that is, is it acts like a sound insulator. Um, a lot of times if you have, you know, a piece of really thin sheet metal like this, and then it goes onto a, a, a cast iron part, this will vibrate and you'll get um, a high pitched uh, vibrating noise or squealing noise simply because of the nature of, of driving down the road. By putting some lubrication back here, it acts as a sound dampener and it just kind of quiets everything down. But you don't want to put any of that grease actually on the surface where the where the pads will ride. This should already have a, a lubricating coating on it. So do yourself a favor. Every time you do a brake service, put a little bit of grease behind your caliper bracket hardware and check those slide pins. Lubricate the bores of these things and then put a thin coating on the actual pins themselves. Make sure everything moves freely. If that caliper can't float, you're going to have problems like what we have over there. It's not going to be good. Anyway, guys, that's it for Fast Tip Friday this time around. I hope the tip helped you out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. I do my best to get back to everybody down in the comments who uh, has any questions. Um, if you like this video, click that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try to put one of these videos out every Friday, but we're just now getting started with our really busy season. All of our seasonal guys just showed back up, and it's rock and roll. So I'm hoping that I'll have enough time to continue the uh, whole weekly, every Friday, uh, Fast Tip Friday thing. Um, but bear with me if I end up missing a week or two here every now and then. Um, I'm doing the best I can with the time that I've got. So anyway, guys, have a great rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.